Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to work with the settings synchronization. If you go to manage option, you will see that there is a turn on settings sync. Just click here. You will see that if you sign in, then all the settings, keyboard shortcuts, user snippets, extensions, etc. will be saved online. So you do not need to export the settings.json file. You just sign in here and then uh, when you will install a new extension or when you will change anything on settings, it will be saved online automatically. So go to sign in. Uh, you can sign in two ways. Sign in with Microsoft and sign in with GitHub. I am going to sign in with Microsoft click here and it will take you to the browser and it will ask to log in here I am going to sign in in my Microsoft account You are signed in now and you can close this page that means I have successfully signed in here thus I am going back to my base code you see that setting sync is turned on okay you can see the log here okay that means your settings are now synced setting sync is one so these are my uh, installed extensions right now that means all the installed extensions and other things that I did here in this project for example I increased the space of here going to settings then settings then what I did is for example tree view uh, so in this tree I increased the indent that means this space okay i increase this space also what i did is word wrap i made the word wrap one that was currently off uh, in the default settings what i did another is auto save and i set up the auto save that was off first I made it after delay so every settings that I made here even you can change the fonts you can change the font signs etc so when you will do a task in the settings or extension that will be automatically saved online so when you will go to a new computer or you will uh, reinstall your operating system then you will download and install the VS code from the beginning then just uh, come in this position and log into your Microsoft account then those settings will be automatically come in the newly installed VS code so this is a very smart and excellent feature that will help you a lot I hope you have understood and you have enjoyed the video thank you